Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 58 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to do a demonstration on how to sketch an equation by plotting points in the XY coordinate system. So we're going to be looking at the equation y equals 2x and uh, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to choose a bunch of different x values and then figure out what the corresponding y values need to be to basically make this a true statement. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a few x values so I'm going to choose negative 2, negative 1, I'm going to choose 0, 1, and 2. And you can really pick anything you want for uh, your x values and uh, but basically th these are just kind of uh, the standard values that you usually choose so that you can kind of plot it around the origin. So basically that's going to be, these are going to be all the x components of our points and uh, we're going to use these values in correspondence with this equation here to determine what the corresponding y components of these points need to be to satisfy this condition. So for example if we have an x component of negative 2 then we're just simply going to write y equals 2x but instead of x we're just going to replace the x with the x component so we're looking at the x component of negative 2 so we're just going to put negative 2 in here so 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 so y is equal to negative 4 when we have an x component of negative 2. So plugging in x equals negative 2 gave us a corresponding y value of negative 4. So we're going to put that corresponding y value right next to its corresponding x value in this ordered pair here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to look at the same thing but instead of negative 2 we're going to look at x equals negative 1. So writing this equation again we're just saying y equals 2 times x but our x is going to be negative 1 this time. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So when we had an x component of negative 1, we got a corresponding y component of negative 2. And then when x is 0, y equals 2 times 0. So y equals 2 times 0. Anything times 0 is 0, so y is equal to 0. So an x value gave us a corresponding y value of 0. So now we're looking at when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, we have y equals 2 times x, or 1 in this case. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So y equals 2 is the corresponding y value. So we go ahead and put that in the y position of this uh, ordered pair here. And for the very last one, we just simply have y equals 2 times x once again, 2 times x, and x is equal to 2, 2 is in the x position here, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So when we have an x component of 2, we get a corresponding y component of 4. So now what we have here is we've got five points that we found that all satisfy this uh, equation right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use these five points, plot the points on the x-y coordinate system, and then we'll connect the dots, and then we'll see what uh, this sketch looks like. So basically, we're just going to start with this one. We have an x component of negative 2. So starting at 0 on the x-axis here, we go over negative 1, negative 2. So that right there is our x component of this point. And then it has a corresponding y component of negative 4. So on the y-axis here, we're going from 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And then we're just going to just project some lines off of those points, or some, some dotted lines. And where those two projections cross, that represents the point negative 2, negative 4. So this is the point negative 2, negative 4. So now let's look at the point negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1 is the x component. So starting on uh, 0 on the x-axis, we go negative 1 for the x component, and then negative 2 is the y component. So down negative 1, negative 2 for our y component. And we just draw our little projections here. And that's where they cross, so that's the point negative 1, negative 2. And then for our third point, x is 0, y is 0. 
So x and y are both 0 at the origin, so we'll put a point there. And then we have 1 and 2. x is 1, so on the x-axis we go over 1 unit. And on the y-axis, we go over two units, or up two units, up one, up two. So then we just look at the projections of those two components, and they cross right there. So this right here is the point one, two. And then the last point, x is one, two, y is four. So up one, two, three, four on the y, and then just... Uh, drawing our little projections once again to help us uh, find where the point is. This right here is the point 2, 4. So now that we've plotted all five of these points that we found satisfied this equation, let's go ahead and connect the dots. So just connecting the dots here, we see that uh, we have represented a line. So y equals 2x is a line, and when you represent it in the xy coordinate system, it looks like this line that we've drawn here. So anyway, that was uh, an introduction on how to sketch equations by plotting points in the xy coordinate system. So this line right here is y equals 2x, and we found it by just choosing some x components, and then using those x components um, in correspondence with the equation that we're trying to uh, plot to find their corresponding y components. And then once we have the x and the y components, we put that into an ordered pair. All of these are ordered pairs. And then the ordered pairs are basically points that we can plot on the xy coordinate system. And then once we plot all of our points, we simply connect the dots and we have our sketch. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.